Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm That Wavy Sneakhead, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get waves with coarse hair. So, let's get it. Alright, so in order to get waves with coarse hair, the first thing you have to realize is that your hair is coarse. And when I say coarse, I mean nappy, bro. Nappy. So if your hair is not trained already to lay down, the first thing you're going to have to do is train your hair to lay down. And with your hair being coarse, that means your hair is not only going to be hard to lay down, it's going to fight you back. Like every time you brush it, your hair is going to go right back to where it, where it is. So it's going to take a minute for your hair to lay down. So that's the first thing we have to get out of the way, is training your hair to lay down. The second thing we have to do is to get the right brushes for your hair. What that means is with if you use a soft brush on your hair every day, and only a soft brush, it's going to take your hair a longer time to train in order to get it to lay down. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to not only have a soft brush, you're gonna have to have a medium brush and I'm gonna show you the brushes that I use real quick that helped me a lot with training my hair to lay down all right so the first brush I use normally in my sessions is a royalty brush royalty medium brush I'm not too sure what the number is on this so I would have told you but I don't know what the number is on this but this is the brush you know, normally the medium brush I use so I'm gonna go ahead and get a session in with it real quick and just show you guys how I brush with this brush So what a medium brush is, it's kind of like more of an enforcer. All right, so let's just say you have a kid and you know how the kids sometimes don't listen to you and stuff like that. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't show a little bit of authority to them, they're not going to listen to you. I'm out. No Let's see, you're you supposed to be back in time out. I didn't say get out. You and Jayla in time out. Well, let me tell you this, Linda. My name ain't Linda. So you sit right there and time out, little bad little girl. No, let me tell you something. No, don't if tell I, me. If I was in here, I would surely take a day off from you and then a day off from these kids. I'm out the classroom. I'm just done with you. I'm done with you too, but you in time out. Oh, let me tell you something, honey. This is not going to leave. You're gonna be in time out. Oh, that's why you're in time out right I'm now. Six still. I think so. Well, when I get up out of town and go to bed, I will be glad to go home and enjoy the rest of my life. So it's kind of like the same thing with hair. This is kind of like the medium and hard brushes are kind of like for authority of your hair. So it makes your hair listen, kind of sorta, you know. So yeah. That's what a medium brush does. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need is a good soft brush. Now, so what a soft brush does is it just lays that them extra hairs down in your head and it kind of gives your hair a polish. A kind of polish in your hair. A gloss, as you can say. So whatever hairs that your medium and hard brush is, has, has your hair sticking up, it is best to have a soft brush to lay it back down so your hair will look nice. I always finish every session with a soft brush so my hair can look as nice as it can while I go out. After you get your two or three brush sessions in, the next thing you're going to want to do is to rag up. Now, if your hair is not trained, you're gonna wanna rag up like after every brush session in order to get your hair to train the fastest to lay down. 
So I'm just gonna rag up real quick and show you guys how I rag up. Um, if you guys are wondering, this is a Sovereign Q Products uh, Burgundy Silky. The link will be in the bio if you guys wanted to get one. But yeah. Now what a do rag does is it kind of saves your progress slash starts to train your hair a little laid out when you don't have the time to brush it. Something like that, something like that. Alright. So we good. The third and last thing you're going to want to do when trying to get waves with coarse hair is to wear a wave cap on top of the silky. Now, for normal waivers, normal waivers like straight hair waivers or medium hair waivers, sometimes they can get away with just wearing a silky. But with us, us coarse hair waivers, with the nappiest hair in the world, you're gonna want to use a wave cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wave cap real quick, of course the boondock wave cap, uh, and put it on. I normally, this is how I normally wear my wave caps. I stick them on like that, like yeah the compression is kind of cool, but in order to get extra compression, I kind of flip this halfway up and then pull it down again to get extra compression on my crown and everything like that. So flip it up, this is how I do it, flip it up, pull it down, and you're good. Alright, so yeah, that's basically the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys will know every time that I upload. So just remember these three things if you have coarse hair. The first thing you're going to need is a medium and soft brush to train your hair and to get your hair to lay down. The second thing you're going to need is some type of do-rag in order to get your hair to lay down and to save your progress. The third thing you're going to need is a wave cap so you can get that extra compression so you guys can get extra late in your hair. And yeah, that's basically it. Giving you guys another little update on the channel. Um, I thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that yes, the channel name is That Wavy Sneakerhead, but I'm not only gonna, I'm gonna start not only keeping the videos to not only waves and sneakers. So I'm gonna be doing a couple different things. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing vlogs, or if I'm gonna be doing like prank videos, or if I'm gonna be doing like messing with people in public. I don't know, but I'm just letting you guys know, in the near future, expect content that's not only dealing with waves and sneakers. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching the video and stay wavy.